Titans. And welcome to your Channel 5 Titan TV News. Today is Friday, October 16th. And what would Friday be without a great show? She's right. <laughs> well, we got a Friday, Friday usual features. And some great coverage of last week's rally, dance, and games. And this and much more. Only on your Channel 5 Titan TV News. Welcome back to the show. Today is Friday, October 16th. I'm Amanda Fritz. And I'm Ivan Romero. It doesn't feel like a Friday after having that Wednesday off. Speak for yourself, I took the PSAT. Well, I enjoyed myself at football practice. Well, good for you. <laughs> now, since we're pumped up for football, it's time to get ready for tonight's home game against Crosstown <coughs> rival Center High School. Your Titan JV and varsity football teams will be playing against the Cougars today at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. Now, I know some juniors out there went to center for a year or so, but now it's time to show their Titan pride by sporting any and all Titan gear and wearing red tonight. That goes for everybody. Students in second period, beginning media, productions have started producing stories. Some of those will find their way onto the Titan TV news. Here's the first from junior Marie Humble about Dance Club President Megan Malone. During first period on August 17th, a group of the advanced dancers secretly got together to vote for their next dance president. Up against five others, the vote was tough, but for junior Megan Malone, more than just her talent stood out. Coming in the dance room and working before, after school, as well as the weekends, her fellow dancers realized that she would be the perfect person to be the school's second ever dance president. I was shocked when Solomon announced president and vice president. She announced president first, and I thought I was running for vice president, but I was just, I didn't even know that I was going to get president. She grew more close to the dancers at Antelope and got to know mostly everybody in the dance program. Megan doesn't just specialize in one type of dance. She does very well in everything. She would have never learned the type of dance styles she learned here without Miss Solomon. Her teacher has taught her from everything from hip hop to hula to Tahitian to lyrical. Um, I've been dancing on and off when I was about four to about seven and then I was doing dance and soccer at the same time and I took up soccer more seriously and dropped dance for a couple years and then my freshman year my best friend got me back into trying dance and but dance wasn't over for Malone forever during freshman year at Oakmont High School she took beginning dance just for fun as an elective Malone worked hard in dance and made sure her she was keeping up with her grades Dance made her feel at home, and when she had to switch schools and attend ANHS, she was very happy that Miss Solomon would be teaching at ANHS her sophomore year. Um, I'm really glad that Miss Solomon came with us over to Antelope. Oakmont was a really nice school, but without Miss Solomon, like, I don't know if I would still be dancing. She's an amazing teacher, and um, she gives us definitely, yeah, she gives us really good opportunities and. I'm so glad to be dancing on the facility. It's such a nice facility over here, and I love the dance room. And um, like, there's a lot more respect towards the facilities here than at Oakmont, and um, it just shows all around campus. But being dance president isn't just about being a leader in your class. When you're dance president, you deal with a lot of the finances and money the dance program uses. Whenever any money is about to be used or when you're purchasing something through the dance program, it cannot be bought without Megan's approval. Reporting for Channel 5, Titan TV News, I'm Marie Humble. Our JV and Varsity Girls volleyball teams traveled to River City to take on the Raiders. JV went first, stepping onto the court armed and dangerous as they won the first and the tie-breaking 15-point game against River City, resulting in a Titan victory. Following the JV girls was the Varsity team. Powerful serves and blocking kept our Titan girls close to River City's tail. However, winning the first game, they dropped the next and the two, the next and two, and the match, dropping their record to a three win and four losses for the season. The girls will be back on Monday as they visit center at 6:30 p.m. Now it's time for our teacher feature of the week. This Friday, Mr. Nielsen was selected to be our star. Now here's Andrew Mitchell. I'm here with the teacher feature of the week, Mr. Nielsen. Mr. Nielsen, how do you feel about teaching at the school? 
Well, I, I, I really enjoy teaching here at Antelope. Uh, it's great to be part of a, of a new school and, and being a part of this atmosphere. And I uh, enjoy the students that I have in my, in my AP European history classes and my leadership class. And, and uh, it's just been, it's been great. It, it's, it's a great school to be a part of and, and I'm happy to be here. Which school did you previously come to and why did you decide to make the switch? Uh, my family and I, we moved from Arizona. I taught at a high school called Desert Ridge High School. Uh, I was there in Arizona for four years before we moved back to California. And I was fortunate enough to find a position here at Antelope High School teaching and coaching. We all know you're the varsity one of the varsity football coaches here. How do you manage your time between coaching football and teaching at the school? Well, it's tough because, uh, you know, I have to do a lot. And uh, luckily, this is my 14th year of teaching, so I kind of uh, I have a routine that I follow. And, um, you know, it helps me to do both. And, uh, and like I said, I enjoy what I'm doing. So when you enjoy what you're doing, it makes it a lot easier. Thank you. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. We have special sights and sounds video for you to enjoy. Covering everything from the football games to halftime performances and royalty. So enjoy the footage and I will see you at the game tonight. Should be one on the field trying not to get hit. <laughs> be sure to tune in next Wednesday with me and my new co-anchor. Bro. Oh, all right. All right, well that's our show. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to your Channel 5 Titan TV News. Adios. Deuces.